Hello and welcome back to Law One Gaming. My name is Eric, and this is Stellaris Combat Theory. In my last Combat Theory video, we looked at raw damage output for conventional weapons. Link in the description below. And based on my testing, missiles performed the worst despite having the best DPS on paper. Well, user Andy Presby, sorry if I'm getting your name wrong, pointed out that my tests could have been leaving missiles at a disadvantage due to my having my fleets engage at close range from the very start. He recommended I retest with missile ships starting at max range in order to give missiles their free volley against other ships. So I did just that. Another 20 tests of corvette and battleship combat with missiles beginning at maximum range. And as you can see just from the battle unfolding so far, missiles did considerably better. In fact, for battleships, missiles went from the least effective weapon to the most effective, and for corvettes, from the least effective to the second most effective with projectiles still being the most effective for cadets. So, what does this mean in terms of my previous conclusions and my tests? Well, remember my hypothesis was that the weapon that does the most damage will take the least amount of damage in return. This is because I was thinking that when exchanging blows, the weapon that punches hardest will be the last man standing. With this retest, the missiles are engaging enemy fleets without taking fire in return, at least at the start. As such, they are safer, but they are not exchanging blows at the same time. The results are that missiles are able to weaken the enemy fleet before taking any fire, thereby taking less damage than projectiles or energy fleets would take in the same situation. This ultimately results in the missiles self-biasing this specific test in their favor, due to the way it was set up. What I think this means is that my previous conclusion was just too broad and incorrect. I previously stated to avoid missiles at all costs since they're simply the worst. We now know that given the right situation, they are either near the top or at the very bottom. However, based on my tests, in terms of doing the highest amount of damage as quickly as possible, I believe my prior results are still correct. I think the meaning of the new results are that the missiles do the slowest amount of damage, and therefore the least, but their long-range capabilities mean they will take less fire in return. This effectively gives them a sort of defensive edge over projectile and energy weapons. So we'll have to wait and see how this may change in future patches, such as the upcoming 1.8 where missiles are supposed to get retargeting features, meaning fewer missiles will be wasted when a target is destroyed by another attack while the missile's still in flight. I'll also have to rework and see if there's a better way to test raw damage in practice. For now, I think my results are safe to rely on, and my love of projectile weapons as an all-around good weapon is supported by our data. In any case, that'll do it for now, and as always, if you've got a suggestion for a retest, a new test, or anything else, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, Space Cowboys. Enjoy the video? Well, hey, you should consider subscribing, or maybe checking out some of these other videos. Or, hey, why don't you leave a like? It'll help the channel grow. Or, you can leave me a comment, maybe give me an idea for another video. Anyway, I'll see you next time.